what's up guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to the fashion babe i hope that you guys are having a fantastic day you guys are having a fantastic week i'm super excited to have you guys on my channel here today because today we have amazing things to offer you guys we have this fabulous fantastic wedding gowns that we're gonna share with you guys and we're also gonna be talking about how to create your wedding day timeline in 2021 guys so we are here to update you on some things that you need to do when you're creating your wedding day timeline so guys if you're not yet subscribed you want to consider subscribing to this channel kindly don't forget to share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments on this video which dress was your favorite and why let me know why that dress was your favorite dress on this video today so guys as you guys are enjoying these amazing gorgeous gowns i'm gonna be sharing with you how to create your wedding day timeline and i'm gonna be giving you an example of one that i created recently i'll be giving you and elaborating on what should happen at what time guys so because most of the wedding organizers creating a wedding timeline they do create wedding timelines to create them to control uh, to help them to control everything that is going on and boy a wedding day can be quite a mess if you do not know how much time you have for certain things so I know some of you guys have been to weddings where things are magically organized, everything is flawless and people are uh, people know where to stand. The reason is the timeline. Someone is behind the scene and is arranging the ties to be flawless for all the guests and the happy couple. So is your wedding day coming soon? Let's see how you can create a timeline, uh, what to include, how to create different timelines for different seasons and occasions. So before we even start creating the timeline, let us know what a wedding day timeline is. So a wedding day, time, day timeline shows individuals events before, during and after the reception and how long they should last. For instance, how much time you have for a hairstyle and makeup, then how long should the reception last and then when you should give, uh, when you should leave the party for your honeymoon. If okay it's practically a guideline for you and your guests you don't need to follow it strictly if your guests are enjoying a cocktail hour you surely won't cut it off unless they will be late for the ceremony which is important right so guys today i'll be sharing with you an example of a wedding day timeline guide so we're going to use example as a guide for your own wedding you can simply change the time shorten or prolong some events so let's say your wedding is starting at 1 p.m so when you're creating the timeline you should write there uh, 1 p.m what should happen at 1 p.m the photographer should have arrived at 1 p.m you should you should arrange for your photographer to arrive a bit earlier he or she should be there 30 minutes before the bride is ready during the time preparations the photographer can catch details the gorgeous lace wedding dress uh, couples rings invitations decor and etc so let's say uh, it's 1.15. So at 1.15, the bridesmaids should be ready, the bride's hair and the makeup should be done. So the bridesmaids as well as the mother of the bride should be ready by 1 p.m., uh, 1.15 p.m. and they should be ready for the bride. They should have been done with everything while the bride's makeup and hair are in progress. Photographers can record moments while everyone is getting ready. So at 1.30, at 1.30 what should happen? The bride should get dressed. Those moments of zipping the bride's dress and the bridesmaids are helping her uh, are very priceless. So they should definitely be captured on camera. So from 1.45 to 2.30 p.m. Uh, the bride's portraits, uh, the bridesmaid's photo shoot with the bride should be happening during that time. So the photographer should capture the bride's first, her portrait, and then make a photo shoot with her bridesmaids. Uh, this photo should be very funny, should be witty, should be interesting so that they can stay forever in your memory. So you can get props such as champagne, flutes, or, or let's say confetti. 
So from 2.30 to 3.10, let's say from 2.30 to 3.10, what should happen during that time? So first look and couple's portrait. If a couple opts for a first, uh, first look, they should have the time for themselves as well as for portraits. Think about uh, that window of time. You need to do a little bit of a photo shoot. So from 3.10 to 4.30 p.m., that's when the wedding is going to start, family photos and the beginning of the ceremony. So during this time, your family should be all dressed up, meeting with other guests in the lobby of the venue. The photographer should take photos of everything that is going on, family portraits and moments while guests are arriving. Plan your wedding to start 15 minutes later than the invitation time. During that time, all the guests will arrive and no seat will, be, will stay empty because of traffic jam so from 4 45 to 5 15 p.m the ceremony should start should, it, it's time for the ceremony and this time can vary since ceremonies can be from 20 minutes to an hour long so from 5 15 to 6 15 that's the cocktail hour and the family photos so during this time window some couples run to make the post ceremony photos while others stay to be photographed with their family and friends so from 6 15 to 6 45 guests are invited to dinner first dance and toast and during this time the guests should enter the dinner venue you can combine both entrance and first dance some couples opt for one song some like to set a dance set of um some like to set a dance set of a few songs in a row welcome toasts are usually offered by parents and the newlyweds you should set some time for that uh, since in some traditions uh, couples need to toast with every guest the father of the bride should speak then you should speak first then the other guests and family members if arranged <laughs> So at 6.45 to 8.45 p.m. it's dinner time and during this time you can organize parents dances, uh, more tours and most importantly you need to cut the cake with your partner. So at 8.45 should be dance time and during this time dance time with all your guests uh, is so nice and relaxing. Almost everything is over. You don't need to worry about anything. So prepare your dance shoes and enjoy the good music, drinks and dance. So at 10 30 that's the end of the wedding so uh, during this time kindly arrange a spectacular exit with confetti and sparkles then you can say the last goodbye to your guests with some special song then grab your grab your loved ones uh, sorry guys then grab your loved one by the hand and then you can leave the party so think about your weddings uh, unique things when you begin to create a timeline you should think about the unique things about your wedding is there anything that requires more time do you have any special wishes some brides want more time for their makeup and hair while others want uh, enormous firework at the end of the night all these things should be pre precisely shown on your timeline timeline otherwise you can get pretty lost with time so guys that marks the end of our video kindly if you're not yet subscribed kindly consider subscribing don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next one